In this video, I'll be doing something that I haven't done before. A lot of you guys are very kind asking me questions in the comments about me, my country Denmark, my favorite movies, my favorite fight scenes and so on. So I figured let's gather all those questions and then answer them in a video like this. So let's get started here. The first question is from Ravindra B. You ask me, what's your country? Well, my country is Denmark. It's a very small country and less than 6 million people are living here. That means that India is roughly 220 times bigger than Denmark population wise. And let's put it like this. More people live in Bengaluru, Karnataka than there are people living in Denmark. <laughs> but I'm very proud of my country, Denmark. We have a very long and deep history going all the way back to the Viking era. And it is said that the Danish flag is the oldest flag in the world. And I think that the Indian flag and the Danish flag here really look beautiful together. So next question here is from Kathik Kavin. You ask me, how much is your age brother? Well, I had a birthday just last week and I turned 43 years old. So that's my age, 43. My birthday is on the 24th of December. Yeah, Christmas day, that's my birthday. So next question here, Mahesh P. You ask me, what's the reason for naming your channel Big A React? That's a great question. And there's a very logical answer to it. You see, I'm a big guy, even by Danish standards. I'm one meter and 98 centimeters tall. That's six foot six inches. And I weigh almost 105 kilograms. So that's just around 230 pounds. So I am a big guy and my name is Andreas and that starts with an A. So for many years, my friends have called me Big A and I'm reacting on this channel. So Big A React. Next question here is from Sarath Balachandran. You ask me, may I know how you develop interest in Indian movies and cultures? And you also write that your efforts to learn the regional languages is commendable. Happy and prosperous new year to you and your family. Well, happy and prosperous new year to you and your family as well, Sada. And happy and prosperous new year to all of you guys and all of your families. Come on. But when it comes down to it, I am a movie lover. I have been watching movies all my life and I've grown up watching primarily American movies and Danish movies. And I have seen a lot of good ones, but they are becoming very far apart. I find that most of the American movies and Danish movies today are very generic. They're done by formula and that's so boring. Come on. That means I've seen it before and I don't want to watch the same type of movies again and again. The other part of the answer here is that I really like reactions. I've been watching reaction channels for, I would say, five to six years now. And for a long time, I really wanted to make my own reaction channel so I could do it right, <laughs> uh, but I've been very busy. But finally, I found the time and I started this reaction channel. And in the beginning, I reacted to American movies and I just couldn't get excited about what I watched because it was generic, done by formula and all of that. And the videos I made were not very good because if I cannot get excited about what I watch, how can a viewer get excited about the video? That's not really possible. But then luckily, one day, an Indian viewer, an Indian YouTube user named Cool Guy suggested that I check out the trailer for Bahu Bali one. Super. I didn't know what to expect. I had absolutely no point of reference. I'd never seen an Indian movie before and I didn't know what to expect. But watching that trailer, I got my very first India movie goosebump. And I actually have that on video and I would like to share that moment with you guys. So let's check this out. This is me watching the trailer for Bahu Bali 1, the beginning. So 
and right off the top here when I saw the beautiful cinematography and I heard the music and I listened to the Telugu language here it really caught my interest and when I saw this nature and specifically when I saw here Bahubali hanging from that cliff I got my first move bump right there so that's actually the exact moment that my interest started and after this i was introduced to kgf kolar goldfields and i haven't looked back since <laughs> yeah so that's how so next question here ranji singh you asked me a tough one which are the indian movies that you liked very much guys there are so many movies being produced in India. In Bollywood alone, 2,000 movies a year are produced. And I mean, I've only seen a small fraction of all the Indian movies available. But of those movies, I can mention some that have made an extra special impression on me. But mentioning some movies definitely doesn't mean that I don't like the movies I don't mention. That's not how it works. But to answer your question, Ranjit, I like very much KGF, Kola Goldfields, Chapter 1, Bahubali, Lucifer from Mollywood, Eager with the Fly, and I actually like Commando, the first Commando movie also with Vijut Jamwal. That was a great movie, I think. And Saira, Nada Simia Reddy, Tupaki, Jilla, Yukram. Those are the movies that I'm thinking about reading your question here. And um, next question here, South Indian BGMs, what is your favorite Kannada movie? Well, let me tell you, I've fallen in love with Sandalwood movies just in general, and I've seen some really cool Kannada movies, but there is one above all of them for me. And let me show you which one that is. Are you ready? Come on. That's right. I get goosebumps two seconds in. That's my favorite Kanada movie for you. Until now, that is. I mean, all these questions, most of them can change over time here. And you also ask me here, who's your favorite Kannada hero? Well, I have met some cool Kannada actors so far. Let me tell you that. I've met Rakshit Shetty, the simple star, Dhruva Sasha, the action prince, Puneet Rajkumar, the power star, Dashan, the boss, the challenging star. But my favorite Kannada hero so far is Naveen Kumar Gowda, Yash, the rocking star. Seeing Yash as Rocky in KGF blew me away, I gotta say. <laughs> and next question here, Sadhvi Gowda, you asked me very fittingly here, did you watch KGF full movie? Yes, I did. Not once, not twice, but three times. I will go as far as to say that KGF is on my top three list of movies that has made the greatest impression on me. On that list, besides KGF, you will find Bloodsport from 1988. That movie got me into martial arts. And I'm still doing martial arts here, 32 years later. And the other one is Matrix from 1999. That movie bent my mind. <laughs> and now KGF is on that very prestigious list of my top three movies ever. Super. Next question. Vadiraj Gangur, you say, or you ask, we want to know about Denmark, your culture, or some video logs in Denmark. Well, thank you very much. I would love to show all of you much more about Denmark. Actually, on the channel, I have a playlist called Big A Learning About India, 
And in that playlist, there are two videos already about Denmark. One of them is 15, 15 things you didn't know about Denmark. And the other is Geography Now Denmark. But I would love to be able to show you much more about my country here. But I mean, where should I find the time? I'm, I mean, I'm, yeah, maybe someday, Vadirash, maybe someday. I would love to though. So the next question here is a tough one. That's from Rasha Kopal Srinivasan. You asked me, what is your favorite VJ movie and what's your favorite South Indian movie? If we start with the second part of the question, my favorite South Indian movie has to be still KGF, Kola Goldfields Chapter One. That movie blew me away, but I've seen a lot of super cool and great and good South Indian movies. I mean, the movies industries there, Hollywood, Tollywood, Mollywood and Sandalwood. I mean, there's just a party going on. So many cool and great movies have I seen already from South India, but KGF so far is number one for me. But my favorite VJ movie, VJ, Telepathy VJ, VJ Anna. He has made such a big impact on me. I have never met anyone like VJ before. He's so charismatic and he has such a great and vibrant energy. And I've talked about this in many of the videos, but VJ, I noticed that every time I think about VJ, I'm smiling and for, for, for VJ to have that kind of power to be able to make me smile all the way up here in Denmark just by thinking of him, that's just great. And to see how he is loved by his fans, not only as an actor or a singer or a dancer, but as a human, that's very inspiring to me and I find that very beautiful. And. I have seen a handful of VJ movies up until now, and there are many VJ movies that I haven't seen yet, but the ones I have seen have all been really great to watch. But of those movies, Jilla is so far my favorite. Watching Telepathy VJ and Mohanlal Laletan on the screen together, that just warmed my heart. And it was like watching Kerala and Tamil Nadu coming together in a beautiful brotherhood. And although the interval scene of Jilla was like a knife to the heart with all the death and the despair and the children dying, ugh, I really, really liked the movie. And I really liked the social message of the movie that we should respect the police. We should turn away from the darkness and go against the light. I really loved that message. That was great. And again, my favorite South Indian movie so far, KGF. I've done more than 20 reaction videos on KGF. They're all on the channel. So if you like KGF, well, go nuts because you can watch Big A react to KGF for many hours. <laughs> Super, next question. Mukesh Vuka, who's your favorite Telugu hero? Man, I gotta say, Tollywood, you have some super cool actors also. And so far, I've met Prabhas, Alu Arjun, Junior NTR, and Ram Charan. And all four of those are just some super cool young actors. But there is one Telugu actor who stands out for me and who is a step above all these young cats. And that is, are you ready for this? Come on. Look at this. Watching Chiranjeevi also puts a smile on my face. I mean, come on, big boss, king of Tollywood, 64 years old. He was Minister of Tourism for the Indian National Congress from 2012 to 2014. I've never seen, I mean, Chiranjeevi, he just blows my mind and he is so far my favorite Telugu hero. And yeah. Next question, PD Productions. You also ask a tough one here. Who's your favorite actor in Bollywood, Tollywood, Mollywood, and Sandalwood? Happy New Year, brother. Well, Happy New Year, brother, to you too, to all of you. So 
Bollywood is actually the Indian movie industry that I have seen the less movies from um, so far. But what I have seen from Bollywood, I have to say that Krithik Roshan, Duku, he's my favorite actor. I really think he's just so energetic and obviously he's a very beautiful man, the Greek god of Bollywood, but that's not it. It is because of his energy and his expression and also his dancing. I'm blown away by Hrithik Roshan's dancing. So, so far he's my Bollywood favorite. My Tollywood favorite is Chiranjivi and my Sandalwood favorite so far is Naveen Kumar Gauda, Yash. And my Mollywood favorite, and I see a pattern here, and that is that I apparently tend to turn towards the older actors because my favorite Mollywood hero is Mohanlal Lalitan, the complete actor. I mean, seeing actors like Mohanlal and Chiranjivi, and also Mamuti, Mamuka, Ika, Big M, that just blows my mind. In Denmark, we don't have actors like that at that age, being so cool. And when I saw Mohanlal for the first time in Puri Murugan, I mean, I couldn't believe my eyes. And also in Lucifer, the Lucifer jungle fight scene. <laughs> he just left me speeches. And um, that's actually visible in the reaction videos. If you want to check those out with Mohanlal, you can see, I can't believe my eyes <laughs> in the first ones. Super. The next two questions here are from Supana Goswami and Jennifer Xavier. You asked me, when will you visit India? When will you come to Tamil Nadu? Plan for a family trip this new year. Guys, I've traveled a lot around the world, but for some reason, India has, has so far escaped my attention. I don't know why. I think it's just a coincidence, but India is definitely on the map for me now. And I will come to India not just once. I foresee that I will come to India many times going forward. And I have a dream trip planned here. I want to go to Tiruvannan, Tapuram and watch a Mollywood movie. Then go to Chennai, visit the Kurumbakam neighborhood and watch a Hollywood movie. And then go to Bengaluru, Karnataka and watch a Sandalwood movie. And then go to Hyderabad in Andhra Pradesh and watch a Hollywood movie and then end the trip off by going to Mumbai or New Delhi and watch a Bollywood movie. How about that? And then make a video log on the entire trip. <laughs> That's my dream trip. But hopefully I will come to India this year in 2020 and I will let you know when my plan is set. But again, I will be coming to India many times going forward. I'm sure about that. So next question here, that's a good one. That's from Jennifer Xavier. You ask, I want to know about your love story, how you met your wife and what dress she wore on the day you met her for the first time. Well, that's a great question. And I figure the background for this question is the uh, video I did for the Kirik Party Belagero video song, because in that video, I talked about my big love, Camila, and how I met her when we were both very young. <laughs> and how we are still together, we're married today and we have two beautiful daughters together. But, okay, the story. When many years ago, after high school and before I went to college, I went to a business school for one year. And in my class, there was a very nice girl named Sophie, who I became friends with. And almost through the year, Sophie had a party at her apartment and um, this is now May 1997 and I was invited to the party and when I arrived there I saw a very beautiful young girl sitting in a chair in the corner of the living room and she was wearing a beautiful red dress and it turned out it was Sophia's little sister her name was Camilla and she was 17 years old and I had uh, just turned 20 years old at that time both Camilla and I were very shy and we only talked a little bit that night. But afterwards, I didn't stop thinking about her. And 10 months later, Sophie had a new party. This is now April 1998. And again, Camilla was there. And I was very excited to see her again. And this time, we talked and we danced all night. 
and we had a lot of fun. But nothing more than that happened at that party. Then, four months later, a new party at Sophie's apartment. And luckily, Camilla was there again. This is now 21st of August, 1998. Camilla had just turned 19 and I was now 21 years old. We were both happy to see each other again. And again, we talked and danced all night. And while we were dancing to this song, we kissed each other for the first time. And we've been together ever since. And today it's 2020 and we still have a beautiful marriage and we love each other very much. And you guys are asking me, well, where is she? Well, <laughs> she is around here somewhere. <laughs> Super. Next question, guys. And Chaitanya Tenali, you also asked the last question here. And that's a really tough one to answer precisely. You asked me, What's your perspective on Indian cinema after watching so many scenes, songs and movies? And it's difficult for me to put into words exactly what I'm experiencing with all of this. But the first thing that comes to mind is that it is amazingly refreshing. I'm seeing new actors. I'm hearing new, cool, powerful languages. I'm meeting a new culture. I'm seeing new types of fight scenes new colors, I'm feeling new emotions, I'm getting new reflections, I'm getting goosebumps all over, listening to powerful and poetic dialogue, singing and just seeing the coolness of a lot of these super good actors. I mean, it's just very amazing and inspiring to me. It's like a completely new world opening up for me. But on top of that and equally, as amazing at least is meeting and interacting with all of you guys you are so positive in the comments so helpful and kind and polite and I really feel like I'm being invited into your world your culture your history your amazing movie industries with open arms and for that I'm both grateful and also very humble and I really feel like I can relate to a lot of what I'm seeing and hearing and feeling and I really feel a special connection to India and to you guys. It's, it's growing on me very fast here and that's really amazing. And you guys, you are simply the best subscribers any channel could ever get. And I mean, we're nearing 20,000 subscribers and that's just mind-blowing to me. Those kinds of numbers, I would never have thought in a million years that I'd be sitting here uh, and that this little channel was getting close to 20,000 subscribers. I mean, that's mind-blowing numbers to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the most important message for me to you in this video is just simply thank you. And I really mean that. But that was it. If you like this big A Q&A, please let me know in the comments and then I will definitely do it again later on. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and stay frosty. Peace up, A-Town. Yeah, yeah.